Today's lecture is about labor force participation rate. Now, if you remember in our earlier lectures, I talked about unemployment rate. Now, unemployment rate was a measure of the health of the economy by measuring proportion of people who are unemployed as a share of labor force. So we always aim for lower unemployment rate. So another measure of health of the labor force or the economy is labor force participation rate. So labor force participation rate is measured as the percentage of the adult population that is in the labor force. So it's the share of the total adult population and by definition adult population are anybody who are 16 or over in the United States. So you look at what proportion of the adult population who are in the labor force. So typically in the health economy you have substantial number of adult population should be in the labor force. So one of the ways to measure it is to divide labor force by adult population and multiply it by 100. So we'll do an example using the data that we have used before from January 2017. So in this slide I'm presenting in January 2017, as we discussed earlier, out of labor force were 94.3 million, employed were 152.08 million, uh, million and unemployed were 7.635 million. So to make estimate labor force participation rate, we first need to calculate adult population. So adult population is a summation of employed, unemployed and out of labor force. which gives us 152.08 million plus 7.635 million plus 94.366 million. If you sum it up, it will come out to be 254.8 zero eight two million now next we need to calculate the labor force so we all know labor force is nothing but employed plus unemployed So once we have this information labor force and adult population, we can easily calculate labor force participation rate. As labor force over adult population. Hundred fifty nine point seven one six over two fifty four point zero eight two times hundred, which sixty two point eight six percent. So our labor force participation rate for January two thousand seventeen was. 62.86% based on the data that we have provided. So let's look at some of the historical trends in labor force participation rate, especially based on gender. So what we see here, starting from late 1940s till 2010, the men and women labor force participation rate. The red line here 
represents men and that's women here is the positive part women's labor force participation rate has increased steadily since the world war ii at the same time men's labor force participation rate has declined now one of the reasons men's labor force participation rate declined because we have more and more men coming to colleges and we all know if somebody is a full-time student is not part of the labor force. So in a way it's a positive thing that we have relatively less a number of men in the labor force which means that more men are going to college. At the same time women's labor force participation rate is increasing because of societal changes that we observe since World War II. However, there are some concerning factors. The concerning factor is the persistent gap in male and women's labor force participation rate. And if you see, since the 1990s, this gap is pretty much very constant. And this is a worrying factor. Instead of the gap being closing, what we are observing that the gap remains as it is. Perhaps you need to think about why there are persistent gap in the men and women labor force participation rate. Next, I'm going to show you some data on labor force participation rate based on race and ethnicity. In this graph, what you have, this blue line is the labor force participation rate among blacks this red line among whites, this purple line is among Hispanic, and this green line among Asians. And one thing you're observing is this, Hispanic has the highest labor force participation rate in the United States, and the blacks has the lowest labor force participation rate. Whites and Asians have very similar labor force participation rate. That's why the green line and the red line is overlapping each other. Again, there are historical and socioeconomic reasons behind this behavior of labor force participation rate. Maybe you should explore further why there are differences based on race and ethnicity in the labor force participation rate in the United States.